the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're gonna talk about some mean coins on Solana, okay? Specifically, one that I like is Chibi, and um, yeah, we're gonna talk about that today. We're also gonna talk about a few other mean coins, but um, yeah, let's just get into it. So Chibi is the one on screen at the moment, sitting at a 2.2 million market cap. Now, there is another token called Michi, right? And this is basically why I like Chibi, right? So Michi is sitting at 132 million market cap. It is down a little bit, right? But um, we're seeing a lot of these, you know, cat coins on Solana going absolutely nuts. Putting 100 million, 50 million, 60 million, and so on, right? So these are going into the multiples of hundreds of millions, some even up to 500 million market cap. And can Chibi mirror the success of something like Michi? All right, guys. Now, obviously, a lot of people like to get into the first mover, right? But then, as well, what we have is the beta plays that do really well as well. And um, ultimately, just like you saw with, uh, you know, uh, Dogecoin, right? You get the beta play, which is Shiba Inu, right? And then after Shiba Inu, you get betas of Shiba Inu, like, for example, Floki, right? And we see a lot of dog coins that went absolutely nuts. Some that you may not have even heard of in the previous bull run. I think of things like Saitama, okay? And, and, you know, coins like that, right, that a lot of people didn't know about, right, and it went absolutely crazy, went into the hundreds of millions worth of market cap, some even to the billions, okay? Uh, we may be seeing the same thing happening on Solana, but, you know, this time around, could it be the cat coins that print, you know, that, that, that overtake dog coins? That is a narrative, cat coins, right? So, Michi is one that I, I, I really like, okay, but it is a high market cap. I did trade this token, but I didn't get into it from the bottom. I basically bought it in the highs and traded it and, you know, made a little bit of profit like that, right? But Michi is basically a memeable cat on the internet. And what you see is, you know, this whole, you know, you can basically make various memes of the actual cat. Okay, guys, so Chibi is similar to that, okay? Um, it's not very different, all right, guys? But ultimately, I like the price action, I like the community, I like the marketing that they've got going for this particular project. And those that would have missed Michi will see the appeal in something like Chibi, right? Now, you have this other version of this type of uh, meme called Sochi or Sochi, right? Sitting at a 311k market cap. Yes, it has been out a little bit longer than uh, Chibi, right? But it's not performing as well. Obviously, you see these pumps and dumps, right? So, um, you know, it's, it seems it's got some action on the chart, right? This launched on the 16th of April. Chibi launched on the 3rd of May. Okay, so Chibi's brand new. It's literally a day old. But it's pumping. It's outperforming its competitor already. Okay? Now, you see things like this. You get people talking about, you know, Chibi copying the buy button in Sochi and Chibi copying Sochi and so on, Right? They say, I repeat, Chibi is a scam token launched by a lazy thief dev analogs and analogous to the whiff that launched on ETH. We'll take a look at uh, another token in a minute, right? But it says, Sochi is the original, pay homage, right? So when they say Sochi is the original, right? Sochi is not actually the original because the original is Michi, right? Which we see outperforming, right? Michi launched on the 8th of April, right? Then you get Sochi, which is also a copycat, right? On the 16th of April, right? But it's not performing as well as Chibi. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't matter which one was first. It matters which one is best, okay, guys? And when it comes to marketing, when it comes to the community, when it comes to, you know, getting the thing to rally, what we see is Chibi leading that race uh, at the minute. It's sitting at a 2 million market cap, okay, guys? And sit, looking at Michi at 130 plus million market cap, right? Even if, you know, even if uh, Chibi goes to a 30 million market cap, you're going to make big bucks on this particular project. And in my opinion, this chart looks very healthy, okay? Nice consolidation. Had a little pump yesterday. Came up and it's been consolidating ever since, right? Um, I think this went from, this came down all the way down to a 40k market cap or something like that, right? I actually saw this when it first came out and um, I didn't buy it. Uh, or maybe I did buy it and got out very quickly, right? Because I did, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes right at the beginning, you don't know whether a coin like this is going to be a rug or not. 
if it can stand the test of time, if the devs stick around, if it does what it says on the tin, then it could turn out to be a good meme and run to the millions, or run to the tens of millions, or potentially the hundreds of millions, and in some cases, the billions, right? So, you know, this one, I ended up buying it back in at around 600k market cap last night, and now it's sitting at 2.1 million. I think it went just under 3 million market cap at the all-time high. But I see this going much higher, potentially, okay, just based on what we see here with the price action, right? It could have died and just rugged, right? And it didn't. It's holding up well, and now it's trying to go into price discovery and make new all-time highs. Okay, guys. Um, so, you know, ultimately, when you look at Sochi, that's not doing that, okay? It came out, it died. And, you know, this is not to bash Sochi, but this is just to highlight the difference in the chart structure, uh, the marketing, the performance of Chibi in comparison. Okay, guys, because obviously you're going to get people on Twitter, you know, trying to FUD Chibi. Okay. Again, it doesn't matter who was first, it matters who is best. Okay. We see a lot of different dog tokens. Doesn't matter which dog token was first. Okay. Dog with hat, for example, right? You, you know, there's another with hat and another with hat and another with sword and with this and all that sort of stuff. Doesn't matter which was first. Yes, it does in terms of the blue chip, the first mover, right? But then when it comes to the spin-off tokens or the beta plays, it doesn't matter who was first, it matters who was best. Okay, guys, or who is best. So, you know, ultimately, I wanted to highlight this particular token as a beta play to Michi, okay? Because Michi is super bullish and will probably go a lot higher. If people feel like they miss Michi, Chibi is an option for you to buy in. Not financial advice, but I do... I am bullish on this particular meme coin on Solana. Okay, guys. And the next one that I want to talk about is uh, WIF 2.0. Let's just pull up the chart for WIF 2. And why I think that WIF 2 is uh, potentially bullish, right? So if we go over to Dex Tools for this one, uh, WIF 2 also on Solana. Okay. Uh, and let's, get, let's just get up the original uh, WIF dog WIF hat while we're on while we're talking about uh with okay guys um so what do we want we want dog with hat um is this the one no that's that's uh uh let's just get it up on coin market cap so we're not searching you know make sure we're not we're not looking at the wrong dog with hat obviously dog with hat is in the billions right so let's just get uh with up and this is no direct comparison with a whiff you know we're just looking at the potential for a whiff 2.0 we've seen it before with pepe and a pepe 2.0 and all these 2.0 tokens that came out went absolutely nuts right so i don't see why the same thing can't happen with whiff 2 uh whiff okay guys let's just go back to the whiff chart right so whiff 2 uh specifically whiff 2 right what we see is this pumping from its lows, it's pumping, it's pumped to about 3.7 million market cap, went to about 4.2, sorry, actually 4.8 million market cap at its peak um, just in the previous hours. Okay, guys, and what we see is a healthy chart here. Okay, actually got in and got out of this over in these ranges. Okay, uh, would have been better if I would have held it because I had a quite large position in this particular uh, mean coin as well. Okay, guys, but um, you know, this one is performing well, and I think that as a beta play to dog with hat could we see a huge gain or a huge run out of this particular token from a 3.7 million market cap dog with hat is actually a 3.3 billion market cap so that's like a, a thousand x higher than uh with 2.0 right so you know do we see is that a thousand x yeah that's a thousand x higher than uh with 2.0 Okay, a 10x will be a, a 30 point, a 30 million. 100x will be a 300 million. And 3 billion will be a thousand x. So, yeah, dog with hat is a thousand x higher than with 2.0, right? And that's the narrative, right? That That's, you know, as a beta play, can it do a fraction of the market cap of the original dog with hat? That's what we're looking at here, right? And I think that it can, right? Potentially, right? When this was sitting at a 30k market cap, you know, many would have looked at it and thought, oh, it's just another with 2.0. Then it gets to 300k. Then it gets to 3 million, right? 
And what we're seeing is it, it already has done a fraction, you know, but it's a thousand X lower. So can this do any other 10 or even a 100 X and go to a 30, uh, a 300 million market cap potentially, right? That's what we look at. That's what we're looking at here. Okay, guys. So, you know, even if it doesn't do a 300 million market cap, can it do a 30 million? Can it do a 50 million? Can it do a 100 million? Right, that's what you're looking at here, and that's where the gains are made getting in early on something like this. Now, I'm personally not back into this token yet because it, you know, obviously, it has been running right. But they say, when in doubt, zoom out, and I do like to zoom out, okay. And in you know, if this was if you're looking at dog with hat, right, you know, it still would have been a good entry at 3.7 million market cap, even though this chart looks like it's gone parabolic when you you know, zoom in when you zoom out. It just looks like a general uptrend, okay? And the volume hasn't gone crazy yet, all right? So do we see a lot more upside on this in the short term, or do you see a pullback down to a support level, okay? Maybe like a 50% pullback, 50% plus, 60, 70% pullback, or something like that, right? Uh, possibly, right? Because obviously from here down to here will be a 70%, okay, down to support. Okay, so that will be a great buying opportunity in my opinion for this. But then does this just keep running and go up? That th Those are the dilemmas that you have, you know, getting the best entry. Okay, guys, because these swings on mean coins are very violent. I know that as somebody who's, you know, been wrecked several times, even in the past week on several different mean coins. Okay, guys, because it's trial and error. Like, you know, not every time you, you can't always catch, you know, something just that's just going to go absolutely crazy especially on solana there's a lot of rugs there's a lot of rugs okay guys and a lot of the times what you see is the callers making all the money because they get in early they call it to their communities right and then what you see is you know th this is what you see okay they call it to their communities it goes all the way up and then you get you know the people that were in early the people that bought it before they called it you see them dumping it down which is what you call it, a pump and dump okay guys so when you see a slow grind up, when you see a nice consolidation and range and, it, you know, putting in a nice general uptrend, right? That is a good sign for a chart, in my opinion, right? So, dog with 2.0, in, in my opinion, is a potential hold for, you know, in the, you know, in the, in the midterm, right? Potentially long term, potentially, right? In this ball, okay? Um, another reason why it caught my eye is because when you go over to their actual Twitter, right? Uh, they've got 49,000 followers, okay? And what we see is apparently, apparently, right? Bitcoin whales, some Bitcoin whales getting into this project. They've got good engagement, right? But that's that's what they're tweeting out, that Bitcoin whales are getting into this project. But over here, it's followed by Born Shido. Okay, guys, and this is the founder of Shido, right? So Shido... Uh, if you don't know what Shido is, right? Uh, in fact, let's just go onto Coin Market Cap. So Shido, I'm not sure where the market cap is sitting at right now, but this is on BNB and on Ethereum. Okay, uh, it's not a Solana coin, but the founder is following. Uh, it, uh, uh, the founder is following. With uh, uh, with two, right? I'm sure the market cap was higher than this. In fact, let's just have a look. Um, Shido. This is the new contract. Okay. But this is a good project, basically, that people are speculating on. That's going to do really well. Okay. I'm assuming that this is the, uh, the, the the market cap here. But, you know, it's fully diluted at 18 million. Okay. 18 million. Okay. It's not as, you know, crazy as it could be. Right. But, um you know, that guy, he's, he's a base dev, right? So the, the dev of Shido, okay? Um, but yeah, he's following them, and that's one thing that I don't notice of, because I actually follow him, which is why it shows on Twitter that he's being followed by him. Um, so, you know, that's kind of one of the things that intrigued me about it as well. It's followed by him. Obviously, it's followed by, you know, other people as well um, that are probably big in the space, all right, guys? But ultimately... Again, on the Twitter, right, it says that, or they're saying that, you know, Bitcoin whales are, or a, at least one Bitcoin whale bought into this, okay? And it, bear in mind, this was down here, guys. This was down here, 
And what we've seen is we've seen this pumping, right? I'm zoomed out, right? But this actually did go quite parabolic, okay? Parabolic. And instead of dumping off down to zero, it held this range, okay? It consolidated for approximately three or four days, right? Three days. And then we see it break out and I was making new all-time highs and, um, you know, could potentially go a lot higher. Okay, guys. Now, this is a baby market cap, 3.6 million, right? Uh, almost 2,000 holders at this point, right? 1.3 million of volume and total supply 1 billion. Okay, guys. So, basically, that's what we've been looking at in this video. Some beta plays. I just want to put them on your radar. Okay, I would like to get an entry on with 2.0. If it doesn't keep running, if it does do a pullback, Okay, that would be the great time, uh, a great time to entry because, as you can see over here, the pullbacks are great times to enter. Okay, guys, what you see is pullback over here, right? Pullback. Okay, it goes up. Okay, pullback. It goes up. Right? Pullback. It goes up. Pullback. It goes up. Okay, guys. So the pullbacks are what you're looking for on these entries, and why is because when you just FOMO in, right? It gets hard to stomach these pullbacks because these pullbacks might look small. Okay, they might look small, but that is a 63% pullback. So you follow what we're doing over here. Now, all of a sudden, literally within a couple of hours, you're 60% down. It's not easy to hold meme coins when that happens, right? Let's take a look at another one. Okay, it doesn't look like that much. Okay, but you follow what we're doing over here. Okay, and then it pulls back 40%. So that's not easy to hold a 40% pullback. You put in a thousand dollars and now your thousand dollars is six hundred dollars right you put in ten thousand and now your ten thousand is six thousand okay guys so what it does is it shakes you out in fact i got shook out on uh i believe it was this first pullback right i got shook out because look how much it pulled back i got shook out and i took a loss that's how it happens sometimes right because it's, like in my opinion there's no guarantee that this doesn't just turn into a pump and dump and go all the way down to zero right and look just like we see with a lot of these meme coins okay that's what we see with a lot of them and then they eventually die off all right and you're left with breadcrumbs okay guys but ultimately what we see here is a healthy chart in my opinion all right guys that's all i've got for you in this video let me know what you think in the comments i'll leave a link in the description um subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already tick the little bell for notifications like the video and i'll see you in the next one